Hello, today we're going to learn how to use a triple beam balance. The triple beam balance is used for finding the mass or the weight of an object. Mass is the amount of matter or stuff in an object. Weight is the pull of gravity on that object. My weight on Earth is 24 pounds. My weight on the moon is 4 pounds. Gravity is lower on the moon than on the Earth, so I weigh less. Mass is the amount of matter. My mass won't change if my location changes. My mass is 10.8 kilograms on Earth and the moon. This is because the stuff or matter that makes up my body is the same at both locations. The only way to change my mass is to get rid of matter or add matter. This is a triple beam balance. It's called a balance rather than a scale because it doesn't give you an exact number down at the end. You have to get the scale to, or the triple beam to balance. There are three main parts of the triple beam balance that you need to know. The first one is called the pan. This is where you put objects to be measured. The next part you need to know on the triple beam are called riders. They are called this because they ride on the three beams of the triple beam balance. You can see if you look at the back one, it's going up by 10 grams at a time. The middle one, which has the largest rider, is going up by 100 grams at a time. And the front one, which is the smallest, goes up by 0.1 grams at a time. The next part you need to know is called the zeroing knob. It's located just underneath the pan and is used to make your scale start at zero. If your scale doesn't start at zero, then you will be either adding or taking away mass. When using a triple beam balance, you first need to start by making sure that all of the riders are all the way to the left. Once you've done that, your balance should say zero with nothing on it. If it doesn't say zero, you need to adjust the zeroing knob until it does. I've adjusted the zeroing knob, which remember is located under the pan, so that it's now balanced at zero. If the line is below the zero point, you want to turn the knob backwards. Remember, below it, backwards. If it's above it, you want to turn it towards you. Now, you're ready to put something on the triple beam. Place your object on the pan. You'll notice that it instantly goes off the zero. Your job is to get it to balance again by moving the riders. You always start with the heaviest rider first. I started by moving the center rider, which is the heaviest. I moved it over to 200, but you can see that the end bar has dropped all the way below zero, which indicates that 200 is too heavy. So I need to take it back a notch. I moved the middle rider back to 100, and you can see on the end that now it's clear above zero. So it's not balanced yet. I need to add more weight. So I'm going to start by moving the furthest away rider, which goes up by 10 grams. I moved the back rider to 20 grams. If you look on the end, you can see that it's too light. I need to add more weight. When I moved it to 30, however, it was too heavy. So I know that it's got to be somewhere between 20 and 30. So now I will adjust the front rider. The last step in balancing your triple beam is to use the very front rider. It works best if you just tap it with your finger until you get it to balance at zero. It usually kind of hovers there, it doesn't hold still, especially if there's high air circulation in the room. Once you've got it balanced at zero, the way you read your triple beam is to add all the riders together. Your largest rider is at 100, so that's 100. Your last one is at 20, so that's 100 plus 20. And then your front one 
is at nine and four lines. So that would be 9.4. So that puts us at 120, 9.4. You'll notice the little symbol next to the 10 it says G, that stands for grams. So we would write down the mass of our object as 129.4 grams. Let's review. There are three parts to the triple beam that you need to know. The pan, the writers, and the zeroing knob. Before you begin measuring, make sure all three writers are all the way to the left next to the pan and that it's balancing at zero with nothing on it. Use the writers to get the triple beam to balance at zero. Once it's balanced, add all three numbers together if you used all three writers. Sometimes it doesn't use all three writers, but you always start with the largest and work your way down. And don't forget, we're using the metric system, measuring mass, so we use the term grams or 